So you're in the market for a new laptop and you don't know which one to buy. Or you'd just like to know my honest opinion on the Surface Pro 4 with the new type cover. Well stick around as today I'll be showing you my full review on the Surface Pro 4. So I'm going to start off this review by looking at the improvements from last year's model. Well luckily I've got both models here today and quite honestly they look very very similar. So the material seems very similar if not the same as last year's model and they both feel great to pick up and hold. It really does feel like a really solid device and when you consider the thinness of the device it really is amazing. Now I'm not going to bore you with the numbers so here's a side by side comparison of both the Surface Pro 4 and the Surface Pro 3. And quite Quite honestly, there is not much in it. So this year's surface is also 30 grams lighter, which is nice to see and makes a bit of an improvement there when you're trying to travel with the device. So the surface is great for transport and is really easy to slip in a bag, but on my recent travels I did notice just how frustrating the tablet and PC design can be. So if you're on the plane there may not even be enough room to prop up the Surface Pro 4 which can cause a lot of frustration and the same thing goes for when you're at home lying on the couch and it just falls over. The design makes it really portable however you are going to compromise that conventional laptop design but overall it does come down to your intentional purpose of the device. So if you're wondering why you should buy a Surface Pro 4 over any other laptop, well it comes down to the design mainly as you're basically going to get a tablet and laptop in one. And I frequently use the Surface as a tablet for web browsing and watching YouTube videos because it offers an amazing screen like no other tablet I've seen. The speakers are great and the colours of that screen are just beautiful with a high resolution and PPI. It's just out of this world and you've got one hell of a crispy display there. As well as a good display, you're also going to get a very powerful computer depending on what model you go for. The Surface lineup is available in a variety of options options as shown on screen now. Now I've currently got the i5 with 120 gigs of storage and 4 gigabytes of RAM which seems to get most of my work done right from Word documents all of the way to editing in Premiere and Lightroom with little lag. However this isn't going to compete with a full on editing machine by any means but it handles Windows games very well and other titles such as Just Cause 2 play just fine on medium settings with not much noticeable lag. Now something that was a little bit disappointing is there is only one USB port, however you can obviously expand this with a USB hub to give you more ports, however the extra bulk is a little bit annoying. But when you do think about the thinness of the device it does make you think how they even implemented one USB port in the first place. So one accessory that should definitely be included is the type cover. Now this is basically the keyboard that works with the Surface and the previous type cover was okay but I just couldn't get used to it. It had mushy buttons and a compact layout and the new type cover is definitely a big improvement. You've got tactile buttons now that are much more spaced out and it makes typing and scrolling a breeze with its new glass trackpad. However this will set you back somewhere in the region of £110 as of recording this video and for the cheapest deal I'll link that in the description below but if you are an international viewer you aren't going to get it much cheaper just go ahead and google it but to be honest they're all around this ballpark and to be honest it's a bit of a rip off but you do have to pay for it to make use of that full functionality. Now one accessory included is the new stylus which is actually very very good for taking notes and I know there's been a few hypocritical opinions about it but for me it works great and for my recent revision I've been taking notes with this in conjunction with OneNote and it offers a very comfortable experience where you can just rest your palm on the display and ensure this tablet works very well for people who want to revise, get drawings done or just draw random stuff down on notes or something like that. It works really well and it's the first product or device that's actually been useful. I mean others are a bit of a gimmick. This actually works and it's very useful to have. So if you're in the market for buying one of these I would definitely recommend it. One of the best parts about this device for me is that it replaces both your tablet and laptop in one device. It's got both those functionalities in one. The battery life is also really great. It seems to hold up pretty well for around four to six hours of searching the web and around an hour and a half of programs like Premiere or games like Just Cause 2. So the model I've got here is normally 850 to 900 pounds. However, I got mine off eBay basically brand new for £620 with shipping and a free micro SD card. So there are some great deals out there and I definitely recommend having a look around before you purchase anything 
if you want to save some extra cash. So that pretty much wraps up this review of the Surface Pro 4. I really do recommend it. And for more CW Tech coverage on all sorts of useful products, make sure you subscribe by hitting that button below and on screen now, as I've got some very amazing reviews coming on, on the channel very, very soon. So if you're looking for a Surface Pro 4, but it's a little bit pricey for you, well, on the left, I've got a video about a very affordable tablet and laptop combo, very similar to the Surface for just £100. I know, £100. And if you're interested in a backpack to carry all of your gadgets, click on the right video. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully I will see you very, very soon.